this is CJ from CJ Fix It. We are looking at a Samsung Tab E. The uh, customer uh, says that uh, what he did was his son had broke off a headphone jack or a headphone plug inside the jack. Which, if I, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. But right in there is uh, what he tried to do is he tried to uh, glue something on there so that he could pull it out. Well, he didn't know that uh, Gorilla Glue uh, expands and all that, and so it expanded, and, well, it's going to make my job harder. But anyway, I wasn't sure how to get this open. So I kind of went to YouTube and was looking around and looking around and looking around and finally I come across it that the uh, way to open this was to uh, open it from the screen side. And I didn't uh, realize that there was a protective uh, um, cover on this, uh, uh, but it shattered. So... I, uh, I, uh, take that off, and there's that, um, but anyway, what I was having to do was get up in, inside of the, uh, uh I don't know if I can get it to where you can see, uh, my lighting setup is not in the best spot. But anyway, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get underneath it. Um, I was in fear that it would crack the screen. Um, didn't want that to happen. Which, when that uh, screen protector over here kind of shattered it, ooh, I was a little bit edgy on that one. I, it scared the crap out of me, I'll tell you what. But, anyway, I had this opener, uh, just had it open, um, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to damage it in any way, um, while I was trying to get her open, and these have got clips in there, so we'll pull the clip, pull it up, and there we are. Well, there's the uh, back cover off of there. Um, anyway, there's not too much interesting stuff in here other than the, a lot of these uh, back things on this back board here are, uh, they actually connect to the motherboard of the uh, tablet by little prongs like this here, these two right there. And it uh, it makes contact there, and that's how it connects up with this back. Um, there's quite a few of them, um, but anyway, near here or there. Now I'm trying to figure out what my next plan of attack is. Um, now it does appear from this point. We can see it a little bit better. I can almost make out that there is a piece of metal in there. But my issue is that uh, that Gorilla Glue. So what I'm going to attempt to do is break out that uh, that uh, Gorilla Glue. Um, I don't know how successful I am going to be, but uh, we'll give her a shot and see what we come up with. Um, yeah, I don't, I really don't want to break it. Uh, the, uh, customer is a, a very good friend of mine, and, uh, I don't, I respect him very much, and he, uh, he didn't have to give me the business. Um, so I, I want to be as respectful as can be about it, and uh, 
fix it uh, accordingly. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just trying to wrap my head around this whole situation with this Gorilla Glue. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to pull her out of the frame there. I I wasn't looking at what's going on on the screen of the phone there. Well, I'm digging at this, and I'm trying to keep it to where it's visible. Uh, and since I'm not looking at the screen of the phone, <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to do something about that glue, I'm sure. I was hoping that I could get in here. I may have to end up taking out these screws, pulling her out, and maybe accessing from the other side of, on the other side of this headphone jack. Because if it's got holes on the other side, um, like... Uh, most I could possibly get in there with a screwdriver like this here and push it on out um, kind of what I'm thinking about doing there anyway um, this uh, let's take a look at this uh, a little bit closer here this here would be your Wi-Fi antenna But I notice it just jumps down to here So it's gonna it's probably got a uh, a um, an ex uh, One of them RFID style um, Antennas uh, But uh, anyway technology the advancements of technology kind of makes it kind of sometimes it's hard to keep up on some of that crap but anyway um, well a little bit about myself uh, I studied uh, electronics technology uh, in college and uh, you know so I'm not that afraid of getting into a um, electronic and working on it um, and I do it quite often actually um, let's see here now oh. well, that uh, screw head is not big enough I mean, it's too big. No. <laughs> All right, let's see. Try this one. Ooh. Almost didn't take her. Well, you got to be careful with these teeny tiny screws. Well, hopefully I didn't get that out of shot there. Uh, not paying attention again. Come on, CJ. What's up with you, man? Get on your game, man. <laughs> but, oh, we're going to see about doing that. Getting all these as much as I can. Well, I'll tell you what, this is going to take me a little bit of time to get all these screws out. I'll save you that time, and we'll, we'll pause the recording for the time being, and we'll pick up when I get those out. Okay, it appears that uh, we got all of them out of there. Man, was that a feat in itself. I had to go into the garage and find me another couple screwdrivers there now what we're gonna do I'm sure is 
we're gonna try and get these all these plugs unplugged here I'm not sure if this is one of them slide in jobs or it may be this one here maybe um, or it may be one that you can lift out Let's see, let's see if we can take a better look at it. Uh, just ever so carefully try to see about her. Yeah, I believe it is one of them. so shaky. I don't know why. I'm a diabetic, but my sugar ain't low. I just shake a lot. All the time. Okay. Alright. Okay. Good thing we checked. Good thing we pulled that up. So we could uh, see what was underneath there. See what was hiding underneath that tape. So what we're trying to do here is a stupid sticker or stupid tape. What I'm trying to accomplish is I'm trying to get this orange uh, dill right here. Uh, I'm trying to push it back that direction um, so that this cable here, ribbon cable, can come free and I can pull that out. So that's what I'm doing uh, if, if you're having trouble uh, seeing that. Um, yeah, doesn't want to play nice. Well, or we could just do this like that all right here's that one now let's disconnect the battery ah this one's that type okay the lift and uh, release for the battery Oh, that one is kind of in there. Doesn't want to come out of there very easily. And I apologize for taking, you know, the light. Uh, not being able to see because of lighting issues. Um, this one's going to be your, your touch screen panel at, or your graphics. Uh, here, yeah, yeah, all the same. Let's disconnect the uh, Wi Fi. Um, now, this here probably could also be, or actually, this would be your digitizer over here, and this would be your video. Um, Anyway, I really don't want to disconnect these, but I'm going to have to, I'm sure. Especially this one. I don't like uh, messing with the screen digitizers and stuff like that. I just don't want to get into a mess and not be able to turn around and say, hey, I screwed, I couldn't get her and I couldn't uh, fix her, you know. We don't want that. We just want to get in there and repair what's wrong and get out. It's got free. Uh, ooh, okay, that's one of them types, eh? Huh, okay, 
I didn't expect it to be going to be a plug right there that would pop up. Okay, now the only one is this uh, video. The video uh, ribbon. Oh, come on. Go in there. Alright. Now we're going to just pull that away from her. And this one, I'm sure, would be a lift or... Oh, I don't know if it's going to be a... Uh, well, we'll just pull her out. Alright. Now, at this point, I should have it loose. This uh, board in here should be loose. Let's take a gander and see what we've got here. It did move a teeny bit there, just a second there. Um, uh, okay. And again, we're trying to do it as gently as possible. Um, uh, we don't want to break her. There we go. Huh. That camera just floats on there. You see that crap? <laughs> That's funny how that just floats there. It just goes into this cup, it looks like. Okay. Well. Anyway. Let's flip her over. Well. Well, well, well. That kind of stinks. Darn it. That didn't... That's not a good, uh, you know, I don't like that. I really don't like that. It doesn't got your uh, access points from this side to get in there and push it out. I could, but I don't want to. I might could. Uh, drill a teeny hole in the back here or wherever and uh, push it through. Um, really don't want to do that. Um, we're trying to avoid doing anything like that. So let's just see if we can dig at it and see if we can loosen it up. Um, at least loosen up the, uh, uh, the glue. Because that glue is just a pain in the butt. Polyurethane glue. Man, that stuff is a pain in the butt to work with. But it's good stuff. Good stuff, Gorilla Glue is. Well, well we're, we're about as far in as I can possibly get. Because that glue does not want to get. I'll tell you what. Let me go and play with it for a little longer. We're shoving on 19 minutes here, uh, so uh, let me uh, see if what I can do. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I worked at it and worked at it and worked at it. Well, I think I found the, uh, the solution. Um, and, well, I'll let you see for yourself what I did there. Now, if you notice, if I can get this in the light and keep her in the light, there is a hole right there. Well, because, yeah, I decided it was gonna, my cryo bee was gonna eat. So, my cryo bee ate a hole. What else I did there, I stood this, this, uh, screwdriver handle there 
and I put this on top of there. And I took one of these screwdrivers here and I pushed and I pushed. And well, lo and behold, there it is. Oh, that one didn't have it work as well as I did last time. Oh, heck. So, well, we'll take this like so. Oh, crap. Get in there. All right. I'll push it and see if we can get it the rest of the way. I shouldn't have pushed it back in there, it looks like, eh? Hmm. I may have to go get some needle nose. Well, I might have some right here. Let's see. Let's see what we have around here. Ah, that'll work. Let's see. We can grab onto it. And, and there she is. That was a pain in the butt. Man, was that a pain in the butt. Okay, well, there she be. Ah, man, that was more work than it should have been. Anyway, let's close that. Now, uh, let's see if we can get her put back together. Oops, just dropped a screw in the driver. Okay, let's see here. they're on top of the board and now let's see if we can get it in okay now the nice thing about these here, these kind, are the way they operate, the way they uh, clamp down on this ribbon. So what we've got to do, we got to put her in there and uh, hold it and then come back behind uh, and take this here and flip it down like that and it locks your cable in your your ribbon there um, this other style is a little bit different I'll show you when we get on that side of the board over here now this here is your camera of course your front facing camera which we want to make sure she's in there. Don't need no uh, problems with you, but hey, it's gonna do it anyway. You know it is. Always does. Always that way with the stuff. It always gotta be uh, making you all laundry and wanting to Road across the room and all this and that and <laughs> well yeah uh, anyway now oh, this one here let me bend down and get that other screwdriver uh -oh. Oh. okay make it a little bit easier on me I'll do that see now these over here, um, I hate this situation where there's not much light. Me, I've got an idea. Not much can help, but we're gonna try. Turn that light on, see if it gives us a little bit light from the other side. 
Okay, let's see. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell because of the the uh, angle of the uh, phone. But anyway, what we're going to do here with these cable ribbons, we're going to take these and... Um, I'm not sure if this one was the uh, slide in, slide out, or if it was the, uh, well, what I mean is the folding up, like this one is the folding up. The other style is like this one here, where, well, no, I never mind, never mind, that one's the style too. Um... God, they're all that style. Well, good thing. Let's see, it's awesome, Samsung. You actually didn't do all sorts of crap like what I usually find. I'll find some that are that way, and some of them that are not that way, and some of them that's another way, and, you know, both styles and all that, uh, with laptops and stuff like that, um, it's usually what I run into, um, anyway, let's connect this daughter board in, now, I don't know if you can see that, but I can with my own eyes. Oh, let's see if we can pull that away from there. And when that uh, cable goes in there, it comes across into these other side, onto the other side where it's orange here. And uh, you see these wires here. What this does is when we get her in there, and we push her down, it locks that ribbon into those, you know, those wires there. At least that's the theory. That's what they wanted it to do. Uh, I don't know how successful they were with it, but, well, apparently they were pretty successful because, uh, you know, they're doing it today. You know, they're still doing that kind of stuff. Now we're dealing with the battery. Actually, what I better do before we do hook up the battery, I ought to hook up our Wi-Fi cable first. I want to hook up everything before connecting that. And I should have... Uh, battery first disconnect it first before uh, disconnecting anything and or connecting um, that's what we're doing anyway so let's throw this in this port and that green tape is being a pain in my arse and irritating me. So we're gonna take it off for the time being. Now we're gonna take that and slide that into the into where it goes. All right, there we are. There's the power source connected. Now, I don't know how well these will stick back on there, but yeah, whatever. Can't hurt to try. Because when you're in here, you don't want to make it obvious that you've been here. You know, you don't want to make it obvious that it's been tampered with or in any way 
now, being that I'm educated in that area. I may be more apt to get away with that than most, um, especially with warranties and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, I don't really do that kind of stuff with warranties. I, I tell the customer they to go ahead and, you know, take it in and have it fixed. Um, by someone that they authorize to do so. Um, anyway, looks like we're there. Now it's the boring part. Putting those screws back into the board. And uh, I'll be back when I get done with that. Okay. Uh, you may be able to see that there is a an odd screw uh, right here. Um, well, I don't know if you know about it, but always one that's got to jump off your your tabletop or desk and get lost in the carpet, make you be on your hands and knees and you know, searching for it, and well, I, I couldn't find it. I have all these assortment of laptop screws from past projects. Um, anyway, we'll throw them back in there in the pill bottle. Now, we're ready to put it back together. Uh, put the back back on it. And then we will test it, make sure that it's still in working condition, and we'll see if the speakers work. Um, of course. <laughs> wow, man, that snuck up on me. Bless you, Cody J. Oops. I meant to say CJ. <laughs> Actually, my name is Cody J, and uh, well, I go by CJ. I go by Cody. Um, anyway, let's get her in. All right, come on. Now, don't ever force it, because if you if you force something in there more likely you're gonna break it um anyway let's see if we can get her in the shot um the best way to do this is try to get your corners in first uh, this is not playing nice so we'll work our way on up and then see if we can get that corner to pop in now I may have to use brute force, but I don't like doing that. Well, that's that corner, so we got three corners in. The only one that does not want to go in is that third. And that's not making me happy because I don't want to break it. Come on, yo. Come on. I don't know what I'm going to do about that one. Because I really, really do not want to hurt or, you know, damage this. I don't want to have what happened to this uh, screen protector happen to it. So we're not going to force at it. So we don't want the damage. So let's see if I can get her and I'll be right back. All right, that was a little bit more work than I thought it'd be. Getting that back together. This corner just did not want to go in. 
and I I concluded that it was a laptop screw that caused that issue. So we eliminated it. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna boot it up, see if it'll we got sound, see what come on. There, okay. Let's see what happens here. does appear that everything is working as far as lights is concerned um, anyway I, I didn't hear anything so let's see if we can get her in here uh, let's see about turn it up and see oh See what happens with our volume. All right. Yep, it's working. Apparently, it's working. Okay. Let's uh, let's make sure uh, we're gonna go. Over to let's pull up no no I don't want this darn it uh. Let's see, uh, let's go E, oops, E40, I guess, we'll try it. Okay, let's see, I want music. So we can prove that it works without no. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Well, that's what it works. So it worked. Now I guess I could put a plug in some, but uh, I don't got anything right here that I can do that with. Um, that I know of. Um, yeah, I don't see anything readily available that I could plug into it. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm, I'm sure it still works because I didn't damage anything in there by drilling it. All I all I da could have damaged was that housing around it. Um, and well, that ain't gonna hurt anything. That's not gonna hurt much of anything, honestly. So I'm not worried about that. I I think it's gonna be just fine. But, yeah, that works out for me on that. Uh, um, then I'll, I'll just let the uh, customer know that uh, this is working. And, uh, 
let's get out of here. And wham, it's done. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I uh, coming soon. I'll I'll make some more uh, videos as uh, things uh, kind of progress and you know, like uh, summer coming around and stuff like that, where I'll be able to get to some of the stuff that I need to get to. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to get to, honestly. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll bring you guys along and uh, maybe you'll enjoy it. Um, anyway, you have a wonderful one. Goodbye.